Ladies and gentlemen, it's lesson time, all right? Life's all about self-improvement. We're trying to get better at the game of golf. My man, John Costas, I got a little, um, took a little spin with an instructor yesterday. Uh, people love that stuff, I get it. You wanna see and, and try to understand how to get better yourselves, what I'm doing that's gonna maybe make my swing better. Um, you should be doing it as well to make yourself better. You can track your recovery, your sleep, you use the code daily, you get 15% off, you get complimentary shipping on the old Whoop 4.0. This thing's sleeker, smaller, the charger's cooler, um, and then Whoop's great again, gets you all kinds of data on yourself. So self improvement, swing, Whoop, code daily. Let me know what you think about this lesson because we're working on it. All right, couple quick notes just to keep everything kind of organized. Um, old U on the right here, right toes pinched in, which is gonna limit your turn. So you're not making the best turn that we've seen. You kind of would reverse pivot, which means stack forward onto your left leg. So now we have club head inside. So it's rolled in, face pointed way down to the ground. And that's where that blade gets a little bit too shut. So when you're not turning, so when the body is not trying to like rotate this way, the hands and arms want to do that. So all we're doing on the right here is we open the toe, excuse me, on the left. We open the toe. We're trying to get a really good turn into that right uh, heel. So you're trying to rotate the lower body back at the left shoulder over the right knee and hinge the club up. Now, all of a sudden, this was you thinking JT's waggle. So like we're JT's waggle with the hands and then we are um, a big body turn into that right side going back. That gets the club head way more out in front of you. That gets the hands way more up in the sternum instead of like almost behind your torso. You can start to see how much steeper we are. So we're sort of here versus here. Now you're trying to get the club head up. So big turn, hinged properly. Now all of a sudden your club face is more square, wrist angles matching, which is what we're looking for. That blade just a little bit shut. So again, big picture, like let's make a nice hip turn going back. Let's try to keep the club outside with JT's waggle and a little bit higher to the top. And then overall, that club face here, it's an absolutely terrible line and wrist are gonna match up versus wrist and club face there. Uh, the only other thought would be again, hit the inside of the ball from there and that'll let you go ahead and um, swing down from the inside. We saw the launch get way higher and the paths and speed go way up. So that's all in all really good stuff. Let me know if you have any questions. Ball!